Prior to C++ program to implement the concept of circular queue with enqueue, dequeue, get front, and display operations. Enqueue operation is used to insert an element into circular queue and dequeue operation is used to delete an element. Get front will display the front element of the circular queue and display method is used to display all the elements present in circular queue. Circular queue is a modification of a general queue wherein which when the data get added into the circular queue and when we keep on adding element into the circular queue, the value of the rare reaches to max minus one. Now once it reaches to max minus one and if there are some free spaces at the beginning of the queue, the rare can point to zeroth location. If the queue size is 5, so there will be location from 0 to 4. So once the rare reaches to 4, it can come back to 0 if the location 0 is free. So that becomes a circular queue. Now in circular queue, there will be two pointers, front and rare. The value of front and rare needs to be initialized as minus 1. Imagine there is only a single element in the circular queue and that we are deleting. So at that case, the front and rear need to be reset back to minus one. So we declared some variable max is used to indicate uh, maximum number of elements that can get stored into circular queue and two pointers front and rear. This front points to the beginning of Q and rare points to the end where data can get added at rare and data can delete from front. List is an array of type value that can be used to store the elements. The name of the class is CQ for circular queue. We are writing a constructor for initializing the value of all the variables. Constructor takes a parameter which is a queue size. We check whether it is less than zero. If it is less than zero, we make the queue sizes default as 10. The value of queue size stored into max that indicates the maximum size of queue. Friend and rare is initialized as minus one. And we initialize the memory for the pointer variable list by using new keyword. And we clear all the values of list starting from i equal to zero, i less than max, i plus plus. We write list of i is null. So we clear all the values, all the memory locations, which is required for our circular queue. Okay, we write a destructor. Now we write a destructor for deleting the memory, which is allocated for the pointer variable. So we write delete of list. Now in circular queue, we can say that the queue is empty when the value of friend and rare both are minus one. Because every time when we delete an element and if it is the last element deleted from the circular queue, we reset the value of friend and rare as minus one. So we can check whether the circular queue is empty or not by checking the value of friend and rare. If both are minus one, that means the circular queue is empty. Now similarly, we can check whether a circular queue is full or not by checking the value of rare. So we check 
prayer plus one mod m is pointing to the value of front. So that means the front is just pointing one ahead of current rare. So after increasing the value of rare by one in circular form, so if it points to the value of front, then we can say that the queue is full. That means in a case, suppose there is a five element circular queue, rare is pointing to four and front is pointing to zero, we can say that circular queue is full or rare is pointing to zero and front is pointing to one. At that case also, we can say that circular queue is full. So we are writing mode max to make the numbers, the rare and front to move in a circular way. So just by increasing by one, it will go to infinite. But when we perform mode max, so after increasing, for example, if the max is five, so rare can go the value from zero to four. After four, it comes back to zero again. Now we are defining NQ method, which is used to insert an element into the circular queue. Before we are inserting, we check whether the circular queue is full by calling is full method. So we display queue overflow condition. Else we are trying to insert a new element. So we have to first check whether friend is minus one. If friend is minus one, that means we are inserting a new element at the first time. The friend needs to be changed as zero. Then we increase the value of rare by one in circular form, so rare equals rare plus one mode max. Rare plus one mode max, where max is the maximum size of the circular cube. And at the new place of rare, we store the element new item so list of rare equals new item so during nq operation first we check if it is full or not if it is not full we check friend is minus one so friend is initialized as zero rare is increased by one in circular form and at the new rare we store the new item Next, we are defining a method DQ, which is used to delete an element from the circular queue. Before we are deleting an element, we have to check whether the circular queue is empty or not. So we call method is empty. If circular queue is empty, we display a condition that underflow queue is underflow. Else, we have to delete the element from the location friend. So current value which is present in the friend, we made it as null. And we check whether the friend and rare both are same. If friend and rare both are same, that means we are deleting the last element which is currently present in the circular queue. So we have to reset the friend and rare as minus one. Else the value of friend needs to be increased by one in a circular form. So we write 
front equals front plus one mode max. So the front value will get increased by one in circular form. So in DQ operation, first we check the Q is empty. If it is empty, Q is underflow. Else the current value of front will made it as null and we check whether front and rear are same. If front and rear are same, that means it is the last element present in the circular queue for the time and we have to reset the value of friend and rare as minus one else the value of friend will get increased by one in circular form so friend equal to friend plus one mode max next we are defining a method get friend which is used to return the value which is currently present in the friend so first we check whether Q is empty or not. If it is empty, we display the conditions Q underflow and return null. Else we return the value which is present at front. So we return list of front. Next, we are defining a method which is named as display, which is used to display all the elements which are present in circular queue. First, we display the value of friend and rare. check whether the queue is not empty. If it is not empty, we display all the elements which are present in the circular queue. All the locations we print. So by using a for loop with the index variable i ranges from 0 to max minus 1, We write C out list of I. So all the elements which are present in the circular queue will get displayed. In the main method, we create an object for circular queue. The name of the object is obj. We mentioned the circular queue size as five. So maximum five elements can get stored into the circular queue at a time. Inside an infinite while loop, we display various options, operations that can get performed in circular queue. With different options numbers one for nq operation two for dq operation and three for get front and four to exit from the program Depending on the value of CH, we need to perform different operations. So we write the logic inside the switch case block. So there are four different values the CH can take. Either one, two, three, or four. So when the case value is one, We need to perform 
and Q operation. So we accept an integer value from the user. And call the method nq obj dot nq and the value will get passed into the nq method. In case two, we need to perform dq operation, so we call method obj dot dq. And in case three, we have to display the value which is present at friend. So we call method obj dot get friend. And the value return will get stored into the variable val. So we check whether val is not equal to null. If it is not equal to null, we display the value of val as the element present at friend. In case four, we exit from the program. Outside the switch block, we write display method. We call display method. So after performing each operation, it display the values present in the circular queue. execute and see the program output. At first time when we perform NQ operation, the front end rare will get initialized as zero. We are performing NQ operations to insert element into the circular queue. So every time when we insert the value of rare gets increased by one in circular form. So now in this case, if you try to insert more element into the circular queue, it will say that the queue is overflow because there is no space which is left out. And get friend will display the value which is present at front, which is the top element of the queue. Now, if you perform DQ operations, the value of friend get increased by one. Now, after performing DQ, now we can insert a new element by NQ. So red will points back to zero and friend is currently pointing to one. If we perform NQ operation further, it will say that it is overflow. Now, if all the elements of the queue get deleted, the friend end rare will points back to minus one. Thank you for watching this tutorial.